breezy today. Whoa! 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 Our travels in Utah continued to be spontaneous and unplanned. But as we left Kodachrome Basin State Park, we had one primary objective, make our way toward Salt Lake City for an appointment at the Apple Store. But first, we needed to find a spot to camp. While phone repairs require a reservation, finding a campsite is just a matter of finding appropriate public land. My favorite apps for this purpose are Allstays, Campendium, Gaia GPS, and iOverlander. And we are dispersed camping in Dixie National Forest, right outside of Bryce National Park. Nice little spot. It's even got a little fire ring. After a great night's sleep, we got an early start to give us time to check out Cedar Breaks National Monument. But first we had to maneuver the most amazing traffic jam we had ever experienced. Look at all those sheep. Wow, that is cool. Forty-five minutes later, we broke free and headed up to Cedar Breaks. Due to the wind and cold, it was a very short stop before we headed to our next night at a familiar campground, the KOA in Fillmore. So tell us what you're doing. I'm making a variation of Owen's burritos that he made, vegetarian burritos, a few weeks ago. It looked really good, and I don't have all the ingredients, so I'm just kind of making do with what I have. <laughs> and what's the ingredients consist of? Well, it had a sweet potato, and he is red onion. I only had yellow. 
used some cumin and chili powder. I had a rub that had both of those things in them. So I added that and I don't have any peppers. So I'm using pepper jack cheese <laughs> and the uh, tortillas. So we'll see. It smells great. And the black beans are in the microwave. And it's too windy out here to be cooking. <laughs> well, we're gonna eat it like a taco. <laughs> and I have, uh, so I'll have some salsa and Cholula lime. Here it comes. Mm. No, is it is it good? However you change the recipe, this is really good. Thanks, Owen. We really like this uh, KOA here at in Fillmore. Gives us a chance to clean up the van, get rid of the dust, empty our tanks several times so that make sure they're well flushed. They have grassy spots, which is nice. They have some shade trees, quiet. It's, uh, yeah, it's probably on the pricey side, but not for KOAs in Utah. This one's $50. I, I looked at the one up in Salt Lake City because we have to get my phone fixed today. It was like almost $80. So we're gonna go to the Great Salt Lake State Park and uh, Gotta call them though, their gate closes at five and we can't get there before five. Hopefully they'll let us come in late. We're about 120 miles from Salt Lake. So that gives us plenty of time to get to our 3.50 p.m. appointment. So I'll probably spend most of the rest of the day editing in the car waiting for my appointment. Around. Sure, the bikes are locked. The hitch is secure. And John is out of here. I think John is directionally challenged. <laughs> He's going the wrong way. Take two. <laughs> Turned out that I had messed up on the date of my appointment, and it was the following day. So we were off to the state park where we watched the boats return to the marina after a day of harvesting brine shrimp, an industry that provides 35 million in revenue each year. We are at the Great Salt Lake State Park. It is a little smelly here. It smells like dead fish. <laughs> you can see people walking down to the water. And they don't have very many sites here. They have like seven or something. Not very many. Five sites, John says. And then across the way, you've got the Rio Tinto Kennecott Smelter, which is interesting because Kennecott is the name of the mine that we went to in Alaska. Want to go out on the jetty? Yeah, I'm going to get my phone. Right back. Water's pretty low. quite a lot of work. Did you keep all your memory and everything? Yes. 
and uh, yeah, everything's, they didn't have to delete anything, and I'd gotten the date wrong yesterday, um, so it delayed us a day, but now we're off to Simpson Springs Campground, and just a little bit of ways, there's the Dugway Geode something or other, so we're going to go see if we can hunt for geodes. We didn't make it to the campground because the last 25 miles was dirt and it's almost dark so there's a little kiosk here a little um, BLM kiosk about it with information and we just decided to stay right here so that's where we wanted to go but it's all dirt so we'll pass it this time was the best drive through car wash we've ever been to <laughs> in Delta, Utah. Same place that cracked our windshield. That's right. <laughs> As you can see, our travels are not always filled with hiking and biking and adventure. Because life happens. Whatever the twists and turns, we make adjustments, accept change, give thanks for all that we have, and look forward to tomorrow's new discoveries in ourselves and the world around us. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.